Hello everyone, I'm Hitesh. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm glad to inform you all that I have cleared my CRTP exam and uh, in this video I'll be giving a uh, path to actually follow the CRTP exam and how you can actually go through the course, how, how to prepare and how you can uh, get the exam. So recently I posted a poll uh, in LinkedIn and uh, in my YouTube channel that if you want a, a video on this then I'll be make, glad to make it. So I have uh, got a huge response of uh, a positive response to be honest and uh, so I'm going forward with it. So in this video I'll be I'll be discussing about uh, like from the top to bottom like from the beginning to what you need to do to clear the exam and uh, how you how you'll be purchasing it and how you'll be preparing it how to make notes everything will be covered in this videos make sure uh, you watch till the end and uh, do not forget to uh, subscribe and like uh, uh, this particular video if it actually helps you so without any further ado let's get started okay so let me start with the introduction to crtp so basically what crtp is and uh, why you need to take this exam who other targeted uh, i mean users to who can take this exam so crtp is certified red team professional so if you are looking forward to a red teaming role and if you are looking forward to active directory attacks and defenses kind of thing then this certification is for you and you can take this certification to get a strong hold on your uh, active directory attacks so uh, where you need to purchase it so first thing is uh, before it was it was given by uh, pentasher academy but now it has been uh, provided by altered security and uh, if you go to altered security and you go to certifications so this is the crtp certification where you'll be getting all the details of what exactly you will learn what are the purchase options uh, so i have taken this particular uh, purchase option because uh, i i had 30 days of live access uh, i had i had those uh, course materials and one exam attempt you'll be getting with this particular uh, purchase so before going to purchase let me show you what exactly we will be learning so active directory uh, enumeration will be the most uh, important thing that uh, that they will be covering at, at the starting of the uh, particular course and uh, following follow to that uh, you will be learning a lot about local privilege escalation uh, i mean privilege escalation in general so there are local privilege escalation domain uh, level privilege escalation and whatnot uh, similarly uh, you will be learning about persistence uh, then you will be learning about uh, defenses so later so the entire course is actually divided into uh, four to five parts uh, one is domain enumeration uh, another one will be privilege escalation uh, lateral movement and uh, persistence and at the last they have given some uh, defense mechanism what we need to look into while uh, defending an active directory environment right so if you if you go through each and everything you will be uh, they have also covered part of adcs uh, uh, vulnerabilities so that is great uh, and this will actually help you a lot uh, in, in in case if you are looking forward to get started into uh, i mean red team security red teaming so yeah this is this is a great certification i would say uh, the trainer is uh, mr nikhil mittal so he's a great person i i, I would say uh, is he has explained the course uh, i mean very detailed manner and he is also like he's also a renowned person in cyber security space because he has uh, given a lot of talks uh, in different conferences uh, like tefcon uh, so yeah you'll be getting a lot uh, from this person like i would say uh, he has designed this course in such a way that any any beginner will be who has no knowledge about any active directory attacks uh, will be able to like understand the course and uh, will be able to clear the exam so so this is this is all about crtp so if you go to the purchase option so this is what i had took but they have boot camps also so if you for example if you are going for boot camps then you can go here and they have this boot camp here uh let me check uh currently they are running these all these boot camps so active directory advanced back independent active directory beginner edition so this is the uh boot camp you can take so this boot camp will be costing you around i think 300 dollars yeah 299 300 dollars for 30 days of live access but if you this will be like uh, four session they will be giving uh you need to it will be a live class so that is the only difference but here also you'll be getting same uh, course content uh, there is no difference and uh, uh, you'll be getting 30 days of live access with one exam attempt for example if you are not able to clear the first exam attempt then you can take additional exam uh, attempt uh, with 29 dollars 
and you can also take uh, 30 days lab access uh, i mean extension with the 149 dollars you can use these methods to actually uh, purchase this so i had went through this particular uh, option because i didn't had the time to actually attend uh, the complete boot camp uh, because it is on weekly basis so i went through this particular exam options and i got all the course materials and uh, all the lab access uh, uh, again let me let me go to the portal and show you once you once you purchase the course you need to send a mail to i think ad uh, lab support and you'll be getting those mails mail details here i'll just give you uh, all right so this is how your interfaces will look like so i've completed this particular lab i started at 1st of august and i the lab completed on 31st of august and your exam attempt uh, will be up to i think three months from the date of purchase so you can avail up to three months uh, within three months you have to uh, complete your exam uh, so yeah as you can see november 29 would be the last uh, exam attempt uh, uh, date uh, by which i have to i had to complete the examination but i did complete uh, after this after the completion of the lab so i would suggest the same to everyone who is taking this course because you are uh, you'll be fresh enough with all the knowledge that you have gained from uh, solving the lab uh, and it would be the best time to actually go for the exam uh, okay so i have already covered uh, the syllabus here so once you are done once you have bought the course so this is uh, you'll be getting access to this portal once you mail them so you have to mail them uh, that you have purchased the course with a receipt that uh, you have uh, received while you're uh, completing your payment so once uh, you have sent the mail they will respond to you within 24 hours uh, it's not 24 hours also like they will respond to you as soon as possible and you'll be getting this uh, to access to this particular uh, interface so here you'll be getting the uh, i mean from here lab materials you'll be getting so if you go to this it will open up a onedrive link i'll not show you right now uh, so you'll it will be opening a onedrive link uh, which will contain a lot of videos and uh, the bootcamp videos will also be there so that will help you actually to learn uh, those concepts so it will be there will be four sessions and there will be old videos as well uh, but i think that was that is kind of outdated but you will get a lot of information from there as well so my suggestion would be uh, take the lab i mean lab material uh, i mean uh, take the lab manual keep it with you but in the meantime just go through all the videos go through all the videos and make your notes so for notes also i'll, I'll tell you how to do it uh, but before that take all the notes and what you have to do is you have to uh, read like go through all the videos and once you have gone through all the videos you'll be getting a strong hold on what exactly are the concepts are what exactly uh, how exactly you need to maintain it i would suggest first you go through the videos second uh, like you have to go through the videos two times if you are comfortable with one time you are getting the getting the understanding of what exactly there is uh, what what is what is being taught and what are the things that you need to understand that is well and good uh, but if you are okay if you are if you have time then i would suggest first go through the videos once after that start your lab and again within the lab uh, go through uh, the videos once again so this will actually help you to understand recall those concepts where uh, which you have covered in the first uh, i mean first phase of your uh, when you are going through the videos so at that time whatever you have learned it will come up in front of you and it will help you to actually uh, solve the lab they are having lab i mean they are having a great level say uh, there are a lot of attacks that every attack that has been uh, like uh, described in the course uh, it has a simulation kind of environment in, in the lab so you'll be getting a lab access uh, so the lab access is like uh, it will have all the things that you need uh, so they have 22 learning objectives i would recommend to to um, like complete all the learning objectives and once you are done with the learning objectives they will be having uh, flags as well so if you go here there is flag verification uh, thing is there like tab is there if you go there there will be 40 flags it's kind of a ctf so you'll be doing the lab and they will they will be asking you the answers if you have solved trike me rooms it is similar to that uh, you'll be you'll be asked some particular questions regarding the lab so while you complete those lab uh, learning objectives you'll be getting the answer to those uh, i mean flags so that is something you can do so this is something that uh, needs to be done while you are uh, like going through the course 
go through the uh, like if you are going through the session one complete from session one whatever learning objective are covered uh, like topics are covered in session one do all those learning objective from the lab then go to the second uh, like session two something like that so there will be four session it will take time because the sessions are long it's like three hours four hours uh, videos it will take time but take your time i think that that would be uh, the best way to learn it because this is a very uh, i mean overwhelming topic and it has a lot of things to learn coming to notes uh, so i would suggest uh, to go with git book so if you see my git book this is how i organized my notes so as i told you uh, these are the main categories uh, you'll be getting so these are the modules you can say domain enumeration privilege discussion uh, lateral movement persistence and defense so these are the major categories which will have a lot of uh, things covered inside those so you can manage your notes uh, in this fashion i'll not show the uh, like kind of a private thing but uh, you can actually why i'm saying go with git book because you'll be having a option to search whatever uh, you want to search you just search that term you will be able to search the entire uh, i mean page this will help you during the exam because uh, uh, you will be able to search what are the commands that you wanted to use or if you are forgetting any command it will help you to get those commands uh, coming to learning objective similarly uh, i have organized learning objectives in this fashion and there will capture the flags uh, similarly those these things are organized in that way so you can use git book you can have a look at git book how it how you can make notes and something like that so that is very easy i will say so coming to uh, after you, you take uh, i mean after you are done with your notes after you are done with the lab uh, everything there is one more thing that is very interesting they have introduced it recently that is covenant c2 so basically uh, while doing the lab they would suggest like uh, the first approach is to do the lab uh, the way they have uh, explained in the uh, session but there will be having one lab manual the, the lab manual will be there will be two lab manual one with the normal lab lab manual that uh, you'll be getting but at the, another one will be the covenant c2 lab manual so which will help you to set up your own uh, c2 server and uh, to do all those uh, i mean ad attacks and all i didn't use c2 server uh, because i didn't had much time to complete the c2 uh, server lab manual because i have a day job as well so if you have if you are having time then you'll be able to do it uh, easily not a big uh, big task so i would suggest uh, to go with that as well to go through the c2 uh, lab manual and apart from that uh, this is all you have to do this is this is the entire course that you can uh, categorize into you can plan accordingly and take breaks and prepare it uh, accordingly you have 30 days of lab access i would say it's a very big time if you are a student then you'll be able to like give a lot of time to it if you are a working professional try to find some time mostly in weekends you'll be able to if you are if you are going through if you are starting a, uh, to watch the one session on friday night or something you'll be able to complete it by saturday and uh, sunday you keep it for the lab manuals uh, like uh, learning objectives so this is how actually you can complete this particular course so uh, if you see okay the next next thing will be exam so i would say uh, the exam is not uh, it's not that difficult it's not that easy as well uh, i would say it, it the foothold will be uh, kind of tricky but uh, yeah it will help you like the lab will help you to uh, clear the exam but yeah it's not like you have to uh, you'll be you cannot expect uh, everything that is there in the lab it's a small subset of the entire i mean lab structure so lab will be having a lot of things but you'll get around 20 30% of what they have covered in the lab so the exam is of 24 hours uh, so you'll be getting 24 hours for the exam you can schedule your exam from here uh, there is one exam option so if you are uh, you can select your reason here and accordingly your exam will start so they have 24 hours for your exam they give one more hour to actually uh, so they so this exam setup takes 10 to 15 minutes so for to compensate that they also give one hours extra to complete this particular exam so what happens is uh, you 24 hours would be uh, enough to complete this exam i would say in my point of view uh, but if you are and make sure to take notes during the exam like uh, take the pocs what are what you are exactly uh, what you are doing exactly uh, what are the steps that you are following what are the commands that you are using what are the output that you are using that needs to be taken care of because this is something that will help you to build the report afterwards 
uh, I would suggest to build the report uh, during the exam only. Take your time and try to build the report during the exam. Uh, do not go with a very detailed uh, detailing kind of structure, but if you can, you can go with uh, basic things like uh, you can uh, have a look at uh, all those uh, POCs where uh, you are just using the command and the output. You just take those screenshots and just write a brief about how you how you actually approach that on a uh, kind of uh, uh, report uh, a, a draft report i would say it will help you to create a major report like the main report uh, that you'll be submitting to uh, alter security for review so you'll be getting 24 hours uh, for the exam and you'll be getting 48 uh, more hours after the exam so once you complete the exam uh, from that point of time you'll be getting uh, 48 more hours to complete the report and send it to this mail ad lab support altersecurity.com uh, once you send it they will send you a uh, acknowledgement mail that they have received that your report and it will take around it, it generally uh, it will be uh, you'll get the result within seven working days of uh, uh, from the day uh, from the time you day you start uh, submit the report uh, and they will just uh, give you a mail that if you have passed or not so that is how it is uh, so i would say uh, this is this is all about this particular exam uh, coming to the certification, I'll show you my certificate. So if you can see, uh, so this is uh, my certificate that I have uh, got from Alter Security few days back. Uh, well, uh, coming to the major thing. So I would I would give you a bonus tip here. So if you are really preparing for this exam, if you are going forward to uh, for to this exam, uh, try to learn as much as much as possible. So you will be getting a very huge lab structure. You it's not like uh, what they are giving you, what they have given you, they have some lab constraints, but I would say to research a lot, like if you can build a lab, uh, a home lab kind of thing, uh, and try to replicate those vulnerabilities in your uh, local setup or your local, I mean, uh, cloud VM or something in Azure or something, you can actually try to do that. It will, it will give you a very much, uh, I mean, very high intensity of uh, knowledge, I would say, to implement those things. Uh, this is this this will actually help you to uh, gain more knowledge on how actually you can attack and defend this kind of network. Uh, I would say just uh, go through it. Uh, it's not not a very I mean uh, complicated exam I would say, but it's it, if you are not preparing well, you are not preparing in the right way. It can be complicated. Uh, so my experience overall it was very good. The lab team is very good. Like they if you if you have any problem with the lab. Or if something is not working, just send them an email. They will revert uh, revert you back as soon as possible. I have uh, like it's a very good thing that I have seen is like uh, the lab team is very supportive. I mean, they uh, they respond to you as soon as possible. It it doesn't take like days or something to get their response. You once you send a mail, they will revert you back with uh, whatever the issue is. Uh, they will they will try to fix it. If you are doing something wrong, they will try to help you. So this is all. Uh, that 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 can be done they also have a discord channel here if you can join it from discord a link here uh there a lot of students are already there so if you have any questions if you are having any doubt then you can actually post your questions there and someone will help you out so i think finally this is uh this would be all about this particular exam if you have any other questions uh, regarding this particular exam do feel free to uh, talk to me uh, feel free to send me uh, a email or you can uh, send me a message in twitter or uh, instagram whatever that would be uh, that would be all from my end uh, so this was this was the entire journey that i would say uh, i have gone through uh, with crtp so if you are looking forward for to this certification it's a very good certification on a beginner level i would recommend you do it and it is uh, like it will help you to gain a lot of knowledge in active directory attacks so if you like this video, do uh, subscribe. Uh, I have seen a lot of people are not subscribing and uh, they are just watching it. So do subscribe. This actually motivates me. Uh, finally, I am coming up with a lot of things uh, uh, really soon. So I am planning to go with Active Directory lab setups as well. So let's see how it goes uh, if time allows. Uh, so we'll do a lot of things. Uh, finally, that's, that is all from my side. Uh, if you like this video, do subscribe, please. Thanks. See you in the next video.